people always ask me, hey, F.A., when last did you go back home? And I'm like, oh, I haven't been back home since I came to the U.S. They're like, why? When my family and I first came to the U.S., we didn't really have um, we didn't really have anybody, I would say, to kind of rely on. We didn't really have a guide, per se. The person that was meant to guide us was from Somalia and no offense, useless, okay? Completely useless. Like, did not help us. Useless. Let me just say that. And there's no other way for me to say it. You're just completely useless. So we had to find out everything on our own. And at that time, we lived in this amazing community, which I believe was a foundation of who I am. And in that community was, I called it the a melting pot because they had so many tribes. It had a lot of people from Africa, a lot of people from Asia. It was literally a for like i would call it um an embassy seriously because we had so many an airport you would say so many people there from different parts and if you know what i'm about to tell you you can relate you know how sometimes as africans okay we like to believe we know everything oh yeah we're the google of the of you know wherever we are we're the dictionary of wherever we are so as people who you know the first the the new newly people in the neighborhood we went around asking certain family friends that we that we met that we you know interacted with and one family member in particular well not family member but a friend of the family they were like oh you know when you first come to the u.s you don't get to travel back home you know this and this and this there's nothing you can't travel so we we didn't have any information at all at all like if i had known my i know for a fact my mom we will be traveling as often as we possibly could until I think maybe like 10 years after in, 10 years after in, when my mom started digging in, digging, digging, digging just getting information. And finally, maybe before 10 years, but just to give you guys a number there. Finally, we learned that when you first come, you know, because the thing is this, when you first come to the U.S., you don't immediately get your passport. Oh, no, guys. You don't immediately like, oh, I'm here. Let me travel wherever I want to go. No, you have to go through a process. And just a disclaimer, this video is not to give you guys any advice, is not to tell you this is what's up. I'm just explaining to you my experience, okay? Perfect. So anyways, when you first come in, you we get this thing called a permanent resident card. So, so what that means is that you, you know, you're legal in the U.S. and stuff, so you can work, you can do many things, but you can't really get a passport. No, you can vote. You can't get a passport. You can't do certain things that are granted or certain things that are only for citizens, right? So one of those things is passport. Instead, what you have to do is apply for a travel document. And that's what we needed in order to travel. But we didn't know, guys. Seriously, my parents had no idea. And like I said, we had no guide. And the person that was assigned to us completely useless, okay? I'm just going to say that that's just and i was young i was young and i remember this guy he i'm just gonna let that case be okay so anyways you have to get something called a travel document and it looks like this it looks like this like a little blue thing a travel document and it says on it travel documents literally issued by u.s citizenship and immigration services and i think it has like 24 pages at least mine does this was the last travel document I had before becoming a U.S. citizen. And mine lasted for a year. Yeah, so this is at least for one year. And it tells you everything, you know, your citizenship type. It tells you your status, et cetera, et cetera. And on it, guys, I kid you not, let me hide my information here. On it, it says, this is not a United States passport. Like, they want you to know exactly this. So you have to have this to travel. It stands in, you know, kind of like a gap for the passport. But then, we, like I said, this we didn't know about this until a couple of years after we've been here, so we couldn't go home. Eventually, you know, I became a citizen and so forth. So I said bye to this and hello to this. Finally got this, and that's when I started traveling. Now, I got this, you know, a couple of years back. And at that time, I was already in high school, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm hungry. I want to go back. I'm hungry for to go home. But we have this mentality in the African community that, oh, we can't go back home unless we have money, unless we make it, unless we do this and do that. And I understand because let me tell you, when you go back home as someone who just came from the United States, everybody is going to come to you. And they're always expecting things, expecting money, expecting you to be this wealthy person. I heard the rumors when I was back home. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, those of you who are in, you know, diaspora, you know, abroad and whatnot. Did you guys hear the rumors about those people who live abroad? Yeah, I heard you could pluck money from, like, literally there was money everywhere. I heard so many stories until I came here and it was completely different. So because of that, a lot of us, when we come to the, um, you know, abroad, we don't typically go back home because we know what's waiting for us. We know that people, family members going to rely on us. Everybody and their mama them going to rely on us. And what can you do? You can't say no, can't say no, can't say no, because you'll be labeled as a bad person. Now, after, you know, high school, I'm just like, it's fine, you know, and I was like, I'm going to go after college, but I didn't go after college until I, I'm, well, before college, until I graduated college. So I find that I graduated. I'm like, you know what? I am going home. But COVID came because we were supposed to go in 2020. COVID came, lockdown came, so we didn't go. Finally, finally, we went. So that's the story of why it took me so long.